Hello, everybody, and good evening. Hello, Eric. Good to see you. Who is, wait, who's Andrew Ditch? Hello, Annie. Hello, Satan. Good to see you, too. Um, wait, I missed somebody else. Hello, The Flood. Hello, Hyde. Tia, good to see you guys. Okay, now is currently live, and I want to be nosy for a bit. I was going to do a Foodie Beauty recap, but, but I'm nosy as hell, and that's like, a really good thing and a really, really bad thing. She looks miserable, FYI. So I was hoping you guys wanted to hang out for a little bit. Hello, Aluminum Brain. Hello, M. Hobbs. Good to see you guys. Um, heads up, turn your volume down or pop in those earbuds because you just never know with her. Let me pull up her stream. Does she have the live chat off again? I really wish she wouldn't do that. And I don't understand who she's talking to when she goes live and there's nobody to talk to because you can't comment. <laughs> oh, shoot. I had started at the beginning of the stream. Sorry. I take it she's been drinking. Hey, Abby. Oh, no. It's so windy out. I'm jealous. It's still going to be warmer. Hey, Kez. And Casper tomorrow, then it will be here. Abby, I'm really sorry to hear that, and I'm happy to help distract you. Did I miss somebody? Hello, Chaos. I wish I could just fucking teleport there. Good luck with that. She seems like she's in a great mood. It would be so cute to have a really nice... Warm day in the cemetery, like I said, with a blanket, some cute little snacks to eat. Uh huh. Hold on, I'm speeding her up. She's gonna put me to sleep. <laughs> Has she been drinking a lot tonight? Hey, Penny. Typo negative. Mandy, hello. Speaker, hi. Hello, Sunshine. Hello, Melinda. Or we could bring the, his weighted blanket because that thing's a heavy mother, so it won't go if it's windy, it won't go anywhere. <laughs> like, literally, it probably will, the ends probably won't even flap in the wind. <clears throat> I feel like that I like mine. I've always, I don't know if they're all created equal, like if they're all the same or what. And it's kind of dangerous. What are we talking about? Oh, bit. weighted it's blankets? Like Annie. I was using a Josh's house. I did wake up in the middle of the night and felt like I had like a big hole in my chest. So, yikes. Yeah. And I can't remember what someone was saying about it the other day. It doesn't sound good. I just had the worst memory. But... So, I still use it. I just don't use it on the upper part of my body because I don't want to wake up feeling like I'm being crushed by it. It's like super heavy. I don't know what's in it, but. Hello, beautiful regret. Good to see you. I'm oh, confused too. Like, there's just not enough time. And I know I was there for quite a few days, but it's like sometimes the days go by fast and whatever. It's just like there's just not enough time. Because you spend it mad and raging. I would literally need to live there with in Wyoming to be able to do all the things I want to do with him. Hello, Matthew. Woof woof. Crunch it all in one little. I love that name. I only wish I could have known her Because then I could probably already be there by now. <laughs> I know. I think weird, but I <clears throat> but I do wish I knew knew her sooner. I don't care what anyone says. I love that beard. People just don't. I just didn't really realize how many. Cruel, soulless people, if you can even call them, that exist in this world that can't see a good person just because they're a little different. I mean, does that make you any better for picking on someone because he's different than you? No, it does not make you a better person. It actually makes you a piece of shit. Who's picking on him? And to think he could even be better than him is a fucking laughable, not even funny joke. It's just laughable because you're just so pathetic, to be honest. <laughs> Can I ask who picks on him besides her? He's a sweet guy, and I think any guy would 
fucking kill to be as sweet as him because then maybe you could get some fucking pussy. <clears throat> Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, Chachi's over now. Hey, Jaden. Do you guys notice how Chachi has like a scarier bark than Salah and she's literally seven pounds? <laughs> literally. Aww. Oh, your pill guy came through for you? Oh, You look very fucking ugly. Where is she you seeing a chat? Than uh oh. But where is she seeing a chat? It says it's disabled. Yes. <clears throat> there we go. Like, who is she talking to? <laughs> yeah, chaos. I don't know why I went back to it, but I did. Oh, your pill guy came through for you? Aw. You look very fucking ugly. Jeez. You look uglier than the fuck. <laughs> Shane, you're one to talk with your pill pocked mark fucking face oh looking bloated from your benzos looking uglier than that fucking roast beef fucking stretched out fucking pussy oh my gosh your ass came out of what you're vile you, dude you want to talk there pill boy who's pill, pill boy and i don't mean pillsbury bitch but you're probably fat as fuck too that's why you only had a picture of your face and if your face is bloated like that, well, you know the rest of your body's like that. <laughs> so keep popping your benzos, fatty bitch. Are you popping yours? Keep popping them fucking benzos, you fucking heroin addict fucking benzo Whoa. fucking loser ass bitch. That's why your face is so fucking bloated. You look like a dead corpse. Oh. <gasps> you probably are dead. Oh, wow. She's on one tonight. If I had the money, literally, all the slander, you, you, you people wouldn't even be able to fucking handle it. All the shit you spew out of your fucking prolapsed fucking rectum. Oh my lord, I might have and to private this stream like, after. Her fist up there every night to like put it back, and then <gasps> kisses your gentle rosebud goodnight. Hi, musical mistress. What a time to come, come on, in. Shane. I know you blow your dad's dick for <gasps> fucking a few pills a night. Come on. He's like, son, I can't take any more blowjobs. I can only take about 10 a day. You're going to have to cut back on your fucking pill addiction, boy. Boy, I said, boy, quit sucking my dick for those pills, boy. Did you guys hear my jaw just hit the mother freaking floor right now? <laughs> quit doing it, Shane. It's not cool, Shane. Your daddy needs a break. Sounds like it. Ten times a day, huh? We know you're so fat you can't even see your fucking dick that hides up in your belly button, so. <laughs> oh, Shane. She's mad at you. She is on something, Sunshine. Damn it, Shane. Yep. Said what I said. And boy, did we hear said you. Said what I said. Whatever you say about me is actually about yourself, so. I've never been addicted to pills, but I know you are because you people are obsessed about talking about it. I have a question regarding that, though. Weren't um some like wasn't there some type of medication that people were sending you through the mail, allegedly? Or are people sending you some now, allegedly? And you people are the problem. That's why people that actually need pain pills and stuff can't get them because of people like you. And then you have to project. Says the person who got pain pills allegedly through the mail. Or not, I'm sorry, not pain, whatever. It was pills. But seriously? Your addictions on the other people. Okay. Weren't you taking medication allegedly not prescribed to you? Wow. She's on one. Nice try there, buddy. Just like that fucking loser that failed to accomplish what they tried to do to me. Didn't work. 
Ooh, chaos told her. Yeah, people like Nal and Shani. Mandy, shame on Shane. That, that shit fucking broke down on you like a Chevy Nova. Like a Chevy Nova, huh? I think it's a Nova or something. Whatever the car means, that the no-go. Whatever that one is. That car. That car, huh? Figure it out. Trying to. Trying to. I think he should have said if something was going to break down, it should have been like a Ford or something. But what do I know? Oh, she's taking a nap. Nobody talk. Don't wake her up. Oh. Lady, if you don't know who she is, just be very grateful. And just know that you don't need to listen to this stream very loud, okay? <laughs> I would turn it down. A lot. Yeah, she owns a lamp, Logic. She dresses it up, too. It's a very fashionable lamp. Did I wake her up, beautiful regret? I tried to whisper. Well, this is fun. <laughs> I still feel bad for Shane. Her eye rolls, it's like she's looking at demons. She is. Tony, hello, hello. Tony, get a hold of Ray. Get a hold of Ray. Hopefully you know what I'm talking about. Are you smiling at your demon friends? How many do we see? Three? Not you, Tony. I'm talking to Nell. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, my soup turned out amazing. Uh, did use a little bit too much kosher salt. Other than mm. that, if I didn't use too much salt, it would it would have been perfect. And the cheese pull last night was fucking amazing. Great. She does, mistress. Chaos, she does have a mouth like a sailor. But to be honest, my baby daddy's on the ocean all day, every day, and he has a mouth on him. But like now would like now would put him to shame. Like her mouth is worse than all the sailors I've heard across the world. Actually, that's a lie. I haven't been across the world in Southern California. Yeah, go vacuum your lawn, Mandy. I'm going to pluck leg hairs out one by one. Maybe count how many cracks there are on the sidewalk outside. Oh, man. Maybe paint something just to watch it dry. Finish the rest of this, take a gravity, and then I'm going to go to bed. What's a gravity? Is that the new drug lingo? Come here, old man. Oh, her hat says go puff. Come here, old man Jenkins. Come here. Hey. Oh, you got attitude? Okay. <clears throat> I'm actually not sure what she's drinking, to be honest. I didn't bother with cups in my day. Oh, a gravity bong, maybe. People watch her because she's... Um, hey. I don't know the nice way to put this, but insane. Um, and one minute she'll be chill and this, well, not really chill. She hasn't been chill in a while, but you just never know what she's going to say. And it's wild. I like it over here now. No, 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 Ollie. I wish there was more exciting things to tell you. Like she's a great crafter, an amazing cook. Um, she's motivating. None of that. None of that. Oh, mommy. Okay, lady. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, 
Oh, there he is. Oh, hey, gosh. Ma'am. Are you going to jump? I don't know, but you sound exactly like foodie right now, and it was kind of creepy. Oh, careful. Careful. Come here. Like exactly like food. Yeah, you don't have much room to jump, do you, Bubby? Come here. Oh, 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 don't make me spin around all I'm going to cause a catastrophe of a disaster. Please don't. Spin me around, baby. Oh, no. Yeah. Because what happened last time is Mama broke her bong. Yeah, when I twisted around in this chair and then I knocked that over. Yeah, we go on that Hey, chair. Hugh. Not that we have a bong, but we got fucking drinks and soup and cowbell. We old seedling from Emerald. Hi, Ollie. You, you know what, Jaden? Spins are the worst, but at the same time, I used to love them sometimes. I think it would just depend on what I was, like, drunk on and whatever I mixed. But sometimes I felt like I was on the teacups, and I absolutely loved it. And other times I couldn't even, like, walk two inches. Asleep sleep with Mama tonight? Huh? You haven't slept with me since I've been back. I wonder why. Now, Sonny has, because he's a fucking angel. I think she is logic. Yeah? Yeah? Beautiful Regret said Cobra sent her the Red Bulls and wine because she was going through the DTs. That makes sense. Yeah? Yeah, no, she's uh, fine, Tony. Like Josh, when I put it on earlier, I just wish she was a little bit stronger. Because the first time it was, it was really strong. It's not that strong this time, but I can still smell my Joshy out here. You smell him, Molly? You smell my Joshy? Aww. He's like, he unfortunately. Yeah, he's a good guy. I just couldn't live in that you clutter. Are, you smell him. I know you do. This is so weird. You I smell him. You. Satan, are you clip are you clipping this? You smell him, I know you do. He's like, yeah, that's why I'm trying to escape this damn place. I can't get rid of the smell. Hey. 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 That cat's going to bitch slap you. And you would deserve it. You're being so annoying. You be a good boy. Get your butt out of mama's face. Mama don't want that. This is so weird. Come here, Ollie. Can you turn around? Turn with right on. He's literally like, kiss my ass, drunk lady. <laughs> he literally turned around on his own. Holy shit. Just like foodie. Ollie. I was going to pick you up and turn you around, but you did that on your own. You're so cute. I love you. Just get your butt out of my face is all. Destiny, I don't even want to know. Ollie, Mama had a dream last night, but I, I just had a vision. I don't even know what the vision was. I, I just know that I had a dream, but I don't know what it was about. You had a vision? Oh, I wish I knew what my dream Chachi doesn't. <laughs> Chachi. Oh, you got your claws stuck in me. I can't believe I said turn around broad eyes. He literally got, that was, oh my God, you can't make this shit up. He literally turned around for me. Here's wow. Girl, <laughs> just get your bum bum out of my face. Mama don't want your little crusty ass in her face, baby. Eric, that's that. wild. The cat can move. <laughs> Sorry, you got a whisker in my mouth. No, give me a kiss. <laughs> it's a cute cat. You smell my boyfriend. Yeah, you don't know who that is. You haven't met him yet, Ollie. Okay, this is sweetie. so weird. He smells so good. What does Satan say? 
Oh, there you go. Oh, that's a good spot. Yes. Okay, this is so weird good to spot. me. Okay. Yeah, that's... I don't oh, want to hear you, can't you see say see your cute face. I don't want to hear you say that's the spot to your cat. I just want to move on from this. I can't see you looking at the camera. Oh, yes. <laughs> Let me see. This is so creepy. Well, I don't know. That don't smell like Josh, but I know there are parts on here that smell like him. Oh, gosh. Every time you say Josh, my dog gets mad. Why don't you smell, Ollie? I'm sure you smell Josh anyways. I know you would. Oh, oh you're so cute. He's like literally like. Oh, he. He never does this. Do you need a moment? Like, can we be done? Can we be done with this? You're so weird right now. Okay, Ollie. <laughs> yeah. You tell me you love Josh. You are like Ollie. Stop. Oh, I don't okay, even know what to do. <laughs> yeah, you are being goofy. Yes, you are. You acting out, Ollie. Let me see your face. I'm just looking. I'm just looking. I'm just looking. <laughs> this cat's so over. Look at your face. I don't know what you smell, Ollie. I think it just got weird for me how she obviously keeps smelling herself. It's like, oh, you smell my boyfriend. You smell my boyfriend. And then she's like, oh, that's just, it's just getting weird. It's just you, weird. You're going to town. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I think you. Goodbye. True, Hugh. I saw what Five Flames said. Yeah, it's kind of hard not to. But in all fairness, I know there's a lot of people covering right now. Like, we knew who she was before she got with Josh. So, there's that. It's a really cute cat. Wait, what are you guys saying? They can gut bump? Mad bro, don't have to investigate. You gonna go sleep night night with mama tonight? Eric, email me. I'm gonna forget the person's name by the time I wake up in the morning. So email me. That's the best way if you want me to cover something. Um, I'll look for it. He looks like the male version of Foodie. Ouch. Ollie, your claws of death, dude. Bro. That's cool, Tony. Bro. I'm not your fucking prey. Christ, dude. You you wouldn't like a fucking hawk's claws stuck into your back, would you? Always like Oh my gosh, she sounds like a demon, a literal demon. Ollie. <clears throat> Ollie, there's a pterodactyl coming after you. This is getting weirder and weirder. <laughs> oh, shit. This is just, I don't even know. Oh, you you can't make this scared. shit up. You can't make this shit up. I didn't know my voice would do that. Oh, get your fucking claws out of me, boy. Ollie. Her hair needs to be washed. Um, I think it needs to be washed. I don't think it's well, it could be wet. She spends years in the bath. I don't know, Hugh. Should we be concerned right now? Holly, get your claws out of me. I know you're happy. I know you're happy. You literally got. Oh, stop it, Ollie. That hurts. You literally got scratch marks on my chest from when you were giving me biscuits the other day. It looks like a demon scratched me in my sleep. Uh, it probably did. 
What? What? The look on her face. What? She just said, what the fuck? Why does she always do this shit when I'm in the dark? Um, I don't know where my glasses are, so I can't fucking Put them see. on! Put the glasses on! And I saw that at the corner of my eye. I don't know what the fuck fell. It's... And now I have goosebumps. Oh, no. I'm telling you, you need to go see a priest and get an exorcist done. Like, an exorcism done on your house, on you. Like, this is scary. <laughs> I really think you're possessed. The fuck? No. She's live, Lisa. You missed her being her. Hi, son, son. Why don't you go investigate? Why don't you go into bed, baby? Son, son, where are you going? Getting the hell out of there. I don't even know what kind of... Go check! I don't have my glasses on. I can't see shit. I don't like that. Something fell. I'm not even over there. Yep. Um, you should probably go see what I'm it is. I'm scared to go to bed. Oh, no. That's oh, no. Ollie, nice. get your demogorgon claws out of me, sir. I think that is the lamp. Thank you. I don't know. Beautiful regret. For the love of God, you're going to have to get off of me if you don't stop. To the funny farm. Here, can a mama put Blinky underneath? Yeah, Fall Richard, protection. for sure. Yeah. Lay down. Stick your claws out all you want now. I don't understand why we're not checking what's over there. Unless you're just wanting attention and freaking me out for no reason. While I'm sitting in the dark. I blame you if I don't sleep tonight now. Okay, I gotta forward a little bit and see if we see the demon How come. How the fuck could something fall over? Oh, gosh. Because you have demons. I mean, that just seems like ghost activity. Yes, Tia. 24 hours last time. I know, scream for Pete. Pete? Pete? Molly, what is Sonny doing? Is he being a goofball? I don't know. I don't care about anything you have to say or anything you have to do until you go check. <laughs> is he being a goofball, Ollie? I'm so jealous of your brothers. I don't love them any more than I love you. I love all of you. Not this again. You'll never be replaced, Ollie. You always so mean to Riff. Always. If he was just wanting to love on me, I'd never get to see him. Because every time he comes up here, you're mean to him. Ow, I'll get Matthew. Your on my chest, boy. God. What is this? Biscuit making 24 7? Come on. You don't have to be jealous, Ollie. You really don't. You want to be the only kitty, but you're not. But you're not, Ollie, so you're going to have to get over it. Okay. Claws, dude. It's like you're trying to hurt me right now. Dude, I know the cat's gonna shit in her shoes. <laughs> hey, Jamie. I know. Oh, yeah, I don't know why you don't go on the bed. You, you sleep with your mama tonight. <laughs> you know, I sleep better with the kitty. Oh my gosh. It's not fair you haven't been with me since I've been home. It's not nice. 
It's not cool. It's not fair. Oh, you almost fell, Lolly. You gotta be careful. Yeah. You gotta be careful. I don't know, Miss Mr. Apps. He's so over her, you. <laughs> but he stays, so. He's like, I guess I'll get a few more packs. I love you too, Bubbles. I love you too. I know you love me just for coming upstairs the other day when Mama feeling like shit and you're trying to massage me to feel better. That was pure love. That was love, Ollie. I know you love me. If you love your cat, stop yelling so much. Animals are sensitive to that stuff. You know it. You know it. There's a lot wow. going on in her background. Like stuff everywhere. You're an old man. Oh, you're going to be old. You're going to be 11. 11 years with this guy. This old little fur rat. So I'm an animal lover. Like I talk to my dogs all the time. Like I just do. Like, I'm, that's me. I talk to my, I love my dog. I like her more than I like most people. But, like, there's something very sad to me right now about now having her chat off, literally talking to nobody, drunk, and the only person she has to conversate with is her cat. She doesn't look good. Maybe it's the lighting. I don't know. Like, she doesn't look good. Like, her coloring and everything. Everyone here lost cat. I found him. It drives my OCD wild. All that stuff. Comfy Ollie or what? She is, Richard, for sure. Yeah, I probably don't have a most comfortable lap, do I? Well, Jamie, you missed what she just told somebody about getting BJ's from a family member. But yeah, she's doing pretty good right now. Me. True, Matthew. Eric, <laughs> she found her pinch of weed, finally. Oh, it's terrifying, Mr. Ollie. <laughs> oh, Lord. What is he doing? Apparently, tap dancing. It's not Maybelline. Oh, physically, not mentally. I mean, physically, I guess. She looks yellow to me, but like I said, it could be the lighting. Dude, your back claws, your front claws. You, you're really not respecting Mama tonight. The cat's very cute. Oh, you're not respecting your mother at all. You just want to claw me. I'm not a claw machine. <laughs> hey, infamous. <But> you are. <laughs> She's going to go to Cobra's new house and scream, I'm here, Joshy. <laughs> oh, no. oh, you're getting far all over my sweater, babes. Oh, why did that look so close? Oh, you're high. You're high. <laughs> that convinced me. Oh, I don't pay no mind to the noise downstairs. That's just your brother. Ollie's like, okay, mom. <laughs> okay, mom. I won't pay attention if you say so. You're so cute, Ollie. I love you. Satan, wait. The demons can't oh, come out. Best friend. 
Oops. Hold on. The demons cannot come out and play until I turn the light on, and I am not sitting in the dark anymore. <laughs> you did, Eric. You're one of my best friends, Ollie. Okay. Is she falling asleep? Don't wake her up. Nobody talk. Oh, damn it. <sighs> Yikes. Dude, now you've become what I used to be, like drunk in front of a 7-Eleven, looking into the bottom of my 211 or whatever cheap beer I was drinking at the time. Like sad, just I wasn't belching, but like I recognize this look. Like you have a serious problem. I don't know if you realize that. Like a serious problem. Yeah, mermaid. I think Clint will not be allowing a next visit, but it is hard. Oh, he needs to know. Hold on. I think Clint will not be allowing a next visit, but it is hard to convince Josh on anything but his own thoughts. I bet. And he thinks she's the one because he thinks she cares about him. So it's sad, really. Like, he deserves better than this. I hope she doesn't get to go and de destroy his life. I love you, buddies. I was trying to sing that song to Josh, only, you know, change the lyrics from Ollie to Josh. Mm -hmm. I was sick. And I, when I lost my voice, I couldn't do it. Oh, Thank darn. You head butts, Ollie. Thank you. Thank I'm sure you. Josh was devastated. I love you. Hugh, I'll try to pause it next time she looks at the camera straight forward. I'll try. Oh, Ollie, please. Your fucking claws. Here, let's get the blankie on the back of your claws. Here. I got you. She gave Josh herpes after the first visit? I got you. You're fine. You're fine. Oh, no, don't cry, baby. I was and he let her back? Just trying to get your little claws on the blankie. Nobody's hurting you. No, nobody's hurting my baby. Now put your butt down, please. Thank you. Does he even know that's what he has? Thank you. <laughs> he doesn't know he has it? Matthew said, I hate being on pills. Last time I had meds, I had to skip a whiskey tasting. Don't mix pills with booze. That's, <laughs> yes, that's a good rule of thumb. Do not mix alcohol with your meds. It's bad. All bad. Do you know you're cute? Yes. Hey, Ollie. Ollie. Oh, Lord. Ollie. Oh, Jesus. I have to sleep tonight, lady. Quit being creepy. <laughs> Quit being creepy. It does, Lisa. He just rubbed on me and then bit me. Ollie. This he got weird again. On my, oh, he just rubbed me right here and bit me on the wrist. Ollie. Why? Hey. Because you're annoying him. I don't bite you. Hey. You want to be picked and pro prodded on now? Like an alien? Oh! oh. Yes, you don't like that. <laughs> you don't like. Back off now. You don't like that. Back off. <laughs> you don't like that, do you? Damn. You're just pushing your buttons. Back I'm off. Pushing your buttons. <laughs> you are a fucking dementia patient jeez it's it's okay for you to bite me i'm just not even biting you i'm just playing with you 
nobody's hurting you, Ollie. You were just lecturing your animal about respecting you and you're not even backing off. Leave your cat alone. He doesn't want to F with you right now. You really fucking bit me, dude. Yeah. I'm just playing with you. I can't play. Huh? I can't play with you. Clearly not, so back off. I can't play with my baby. Jeez, you're such a brat, you know that. You don't like mama playing with you. Yeah, Ollie, I know. All right. Gosh, Ollie. You talk about sensitive. Hey, Blue. A sensitive kitty. Welcome, Blue. Oh, stop. Nobody's being mean to you. Stop. Nobody's hurting you. She does. She won't give it up. Boop. Nobody's being mean to you, Ollie. I'm just playing. You were really trying to come after me, though. Rightfully okay. so. Rightfully so. Exactly, Richard. I'm just playing with you. You're just an old man. You're just an old kitty. You didn't even have no fun. Asking for trouble, exactly. She's about to find out. Oh, you got the silkiest furs. Silky, silky. Come here. Come here, rat. I know, Hugh. Come here, and then rat. she's blowing on him again. Pick a spot and lay down, Ollie. Come on. Mama's. Why are you. He's got a bite of my shoulder. Oh. Look at him. He's fucking. Get her, rabid. Ollie. Get her. Ollie. Tell her you're sick of her shit. I was just petting you. Dude. Are you out for blood? You just blew on him again after not listening the first several times he tried to tell you he didn't like it. Get the fuck off of me. I don't want you near oh. me. I think you're like rabid. Yeah. Go. Come on. I don't want you near me. You have lost your ever fucking loving mind, dude. You're a bitch. No. Uh, you're fucking lucky I had a sweater on, dude. I I'd fucking send you to SPCA right fucking now. I think you need to go there. Right fucking now. Oh no. my gosh. I gotta mute myself. Oh, I, can't even I gotta mute myself. My cat. He literally demogorgon. Holy shit. All right, Ollie, you're out for blood. No, that's fine. That's fine, Ollie. If that's how you feel about me, then. <clears throat> Best for you to stay away in your old age. I can't believe you'd even try to bite me like that. I know you have dementia and stuff, but that's still. She is exactly like Foodie Beauty. Exactly. I know she doesn't need animals. She doesn't deserve them. She can't take care of herself. I'm leaving this up. She can delete. I was going to private it, but Ow. F that. And I don't feel bad for calling her a bitch. I'll call her one again. Ollie, get downstairs. No, <clears throat> don't turn back and look at me. Get downstairs, Ollie. You're literally looking at me like, when's the right time to strike? Dude, I'm fucking scared of you now. I mean, literally. It's your fault. The way you tried attacking me a few times. You No, I don't want you upstairs, Ollie. Where's my squirt bottle? Are you serious? I need a squirt bottle. Are you serious? Ollie.
Ollie. She just threw something at her cat. Ollie, you're a dementia. She just threw something. I don't. I like swear that. now. I swear I will not regret this. People can clip it. Whatever you get coming to you, you deserve. Trolling, whatever. You deserve all of it. All of it. Every single thing you get, you deserve. Put you up here. Ollie. This cat is fucking dangerous. He's going to bite my face off in my sleep. Hey, Margaret. Hopefully. All right, Ollie, I'm going to get up. One. All right. I'm going to get up. Exactly. He's getting punished for her actions. She didn't respect him. He gave her several signs saying back off. She's too drunk and high and whatever else to care. And now he's in trouble because she's a bad owner. You, you're you literally torturing me. Right? You're harassing me and staring at me like that, Kent. Come on. Torture. One. Don't make me get out the belt. If you That's freaking... A That's a joke. No, I don't think that was. If you whip out a belt, I... Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm like so mad right now. Come on, Ollie. <clears throat> All right, well, once you out of my room, I'm not joking. Come on. Come on out of my room. What was that? If you don't sit your drunk ass in that chair and leave your cat alone, I swear, I swear. <laughs> sit down and shut up. Because you're obnoxious. Am I being loud? No, I'm not. You just threw something at your cat downstairs. I'm scared I to go forward. I own cat to leave my room. Okay. Oh, I can't you were abusive and your parents heard you. I can't do anything. That's amazing. So my cat gets to bite me and then harass me by staring at me. And I can't tell him to leave, so I get screamed at. Just sit okay. down and shut up. Considering I'm not even being loud. Okay. You're loud and abusive. Got it. Oh, yeah. I'm such the problem. When I've been talking in a quiet voice all night, I just can't do anything. So why do I bother? Oh, shut up. Shut up. Shut up your whole life. Shut up. Shut up. Okay. I guess I'll shut up then. Oh. I didn't do anything. So I can't tell my cat to leave my room. Not yelling. Not screaming at anyone. Radical. Not breaking anything. I'm okay. sure that's coming. Whatever, just shut the fuck up, bitch, I guess. You're not allowed to talk. You're not allowed to have thoughts or opinions. Okay. Just take the abuse. Don't say anything. Okay. So I get screamed at because of my cat. I'm glad they screamed at you over your cat. I hope they scream at you I'm more sorry. for it. Don't fucking ever come back up here again. Oh my gosh. So I get bit by him, yelled at by my mom. I didn't do anything. Okay. Man, I get in trouble because I just got bit. 
It was your own fault. Can you talk in a normal voice? That wasn't normal. She sped up yet? Oh, no. I wonder why it was a selective mute most of my life. Boy, I'm sure your parents miss those days. Oh, it's okay for everyone else to talk, just not you. If you don't like it, you can move out. Got it. She did, Radical. And I'm always the problem. No, not the cat that bit me and then literally just staring me down. I hope to baby Jesus that he is planning his revenge in this moment. I wasn't yelling or screaming. I'm not talking to you. I'm literally talking to myself. Hold on. I want to see something. It's nice to know I can't do anything right. I wanted to see how many people are watching. I still shut the fuck up. Why don't you please shut the f up? No, guess what? I guess when the cat didn't get me, I wouldn't been yelled at. Okay, that's nice. How about if you weren't antagonizing the cat? None of that would have happened. Oh, or something. I can't do anything right. Nope. Doesn't seem oh, like it. I'm glad you ate the last piece of. The pizza my boyfriend bought for me. <laughs> Seriously. I didn't even get to eat that. Do you live there rent free? Do you pay any of the bills? Let them have a damn slice of pizza. I don't even get to eat the food my own boyfriend buys for me. I'm glad he thought it was yours. Yeah, have at it. He's feeding me. Oh, how many watching? Sure, eat, eat my last slice. It wasn't for you, it was for me. It was like 227. Oh, 241 right now. 241 are watching. But I get told to shut up. Okay. Yeah, Eric, I agree. Satan, are you clipping this yeah, for your channel? That my boyfriend buys for me. That's nice. Just like all the other food that I pay for that I don't even get to eat. Infamous, what did you miss? You guys feel more entitled to my stuff than I. Okay. No, I would have liked to have eaten that piece of pizza. I shared what I shared with you. That doesn't mean you get to eat all of my food. Is she talking about her parents or the cat at this no, point? I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed the food my boyfriend bought that I didn't even get the last slice of. Thanks. You can take the slice and stick it up your rear end for all I can care. Like, <laughs> Did I get mad at you though? No, I let you eat it. Mm, you should. If you're going off about your parents, again, you live there rent free, right? I think they got a slice of pizza. Hmm. You think it would be common courtesy? Oh, I give you what I give you, and you don't eat the last of my stuff. Hmm. Radical, I don't know what her drink combo was, but we can go back to the beginning after this. If it doesn't get deleted really fast, I'm not sure what the drink combo is. So I don't even get to enjoy this food my own boyfriend buys me. This one else has to eat it. Thanks. Appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, it's not as if you you don't have your own stuff. But oh, it's always when it comes around when it's Jessica's stuff. Make sure it's all good. But you guys have been making your own food since January. So why is all of my stuff getting eaten? Whether I pay for it or Josh buys it for me, why is all of my stuff getting eaten when you guys make your own food? I don't know. Is it a slam to Josh, you think, Infamous? Is that because my food is better? Oh, Lord. Huh. But I don't deserve to eat my food. Okay. 
I guess well, not. I'm Josh buys me pizza. I'm not sharing with anybody. How about that? Oh, darn. How will they care? Get the same treatment around here like everyone else does. Who's everyone else? $350 water bill? Oh my gosh. Yeah, it would have been nice if I got to eat that piece of pizza for lunch today. Oh that my god. Nice. If she doesn't stop with this damn pizza. I had made dinner yesterday. You could have had leftovers. Of that. You can't even leave my own food to me for me to eat. Her neck is pretty puffed. That's why her hair is swollen. Her neck is swollen in one part. I wonder if she like has a thyroid problem because it reminds me of a, um, what is it called? A goiter? It totally reminds me of that. I wonder if she's had her thyroid checked. I need this stuff, so I have stuff to eat. I don't like being taken advantage of. Over a slice of pizza. All of it. It was a slice of pizza. Or lymph nodes, yeah. She needed something, Blue Daisy. I don't. Glad people feel like I don't even deserve to eat my own food. I mean. Did either one of you even say thank you when I told you my boyfriend bought me pizza and I could share it? Neither one of you said thank you. Oh, that's so sweet of him. Tell him I said thanks. Imagine living in your parents' house and you're literally a nightmare and they can't get rid of you and all you do is drink and rage and you're ranting and throwing a tantrum about pizza. Wasn't it like Little Caesars? This wasn't like California Pizza Kitchen, right? Like, what is this? No, neither one of you. You just fucking dug in. You just dug in, not no fucking thank you. Oh, your boyfriend's so kind. Can you tell him thanks? Nothing. But you also feel it's all your food to eat, too. That's nice. I got two pieces of that pizza. Two. Are you done? <laughs> I'm sure someone will send you pizza tomorrow. You know, I'm glad people feel that my boyfriend's generosity is theirs to fucking take upon themselves and not even say thank you on top of it. I love like, oh, CPK too. Oh, oh, gee, that was nice of him. He's all the way in Wyoming buying me pizza. To share with you guys, I mean, it's mostly mine, but if I want to share it, I can. Doesn't mean eat my last fucking. Watch tomorrow, the trolls send her like 20 pizzas just to shut her up. <laughs> but you know, it won't shut her up. She'll... Where does it say, eat all of my food, leave none? What? Did the ghost come back? What are we looking at? I love it. I think so, Radical, because she was raging yesterday and saying her door her doorbell kept going off every either five seconds or five minutes. Yeah, Moth, it's hard to get over that. It was sad. It was sad to see a cat get punished for her being a bad pet owner. I don't know what I've done to deserve this. I do. Leftovers. Could have ate that. Oh, God. That's what I had to do considering my pizza was eaten. 
Oh, who cares about this stupid pizza? It's from now on, if Josh buys you something, I guess I'm just going to be selfish. I guess. No common courtesy around here. None. Like, none. Yeah, none. You could move out and, like, solve all these problems. But then who would you have to, like, blame everything on? You wouldn't have your parents to blame your situation on. Her eyes twitching. I think she's thinking of things to be mad about. I could see the wheels turning. Lose my mind how we disrespect her. Hmm? Can't even count how many times my food has been eaten lately. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't touch other people's stuff. I don't know why I don't get the same respect. Lucky Josh. This is what he has to look it's forward to. Pizza, pizza my boyfriend bought me for lunch. And then I would have had the soup for dinner. Dude, I hope they eat all your pizza tomorrow. I don't get to eat anything for lunch. Huh. Amazing. And I get told to shut up, and I'm not even using the inside board. Or, I'm not even being loud or screaming. What are you yelling? You don't think so? Well, at the moment now. In my room. No. Committed another crime, heaven forbid. I'm telling you, I think it was literally Little Caesar's pizza that she's doing all this over. Always something. I'm always wrong, but yet taking. Everyone always eats my food. Move out. That would be a good move, true. Yeah, Eric. Unfortunately for her, a lot of people are covering her right now, so she can delete it, but... For the way she's acting, she's acting like it was Papa John's. <laughs> Like, I'm thinking it's this million dollar pizza. It's like $5.99 and a dollar garlic sauce. Funny thing is, they can afford their own pizza, but yet they choose to eat my food, knowing I can't just go out and replace it. Oh my gosh. That, that's what kills me. It kills you? That's what kills you. They, they can replace all the food I eat. I don't, you eat my food, I don't get to replace it. I don't have the money to do that. But I also don't touch their stuff either, so. <laughs> what is that? Josh can only afford dessert. I can't even use inside voice. I'm being told to shut up. Okay. You threw your cat and then threw something down the stairs. Did you forget that whole thing? You were growling at one point. Did we forget that happened? I guess I'll just go back to being selective late when people think they're more stupid than me. Thank God. I'll just learn from how much harder. Oh boy. I hope Josh is watching and reevaluates his life and uh, if he really wants this raging maniac to move in with him. 
Like, cause you'll be stuck with her, Josh. You'll be stuck with her. You're not getting rid of somebody like that. She'll do the whole squatters rights and everything. I know, Abby. If you're listening or you're just tuning in and you're wondering what we're talking about, Abby said she had a pretty good grip, grip on his neck and head, too. It wasn't only throwing him, but also grabbing him so harshly. She hurt that cat in like three different ways in the span of 30 seconds. It was brutal and it was hard to watch. It was nasty. Well, that's better. Blue, maybe a little bit of both. Feel sorry for them that they didn't, I don't know, do something right. <laughs> I don't know if it was not disciplining her. I don't know what it was. But I can feel sorry for them and acknowledge that something is really, really wrong. And they could probably do something to help her. Like, I don't know if they've talked to her about inpatient, but she desperately needs it. Oh, yeah, sit down if I tell you to shut up. I'm talking in a normal voice. Hey, Miss Galactic. Miss Galactic, yeah, it was this live stream. I it wasn't that far back. I don't know what would you guys say. Maybe twenty minutes now. It's pretty bad. If you go looking for it, just be mentally prepared. Selected hearing. Very selective. You think handcuffs would improve her looks? I think a straight jacket would. All right, let's go forward. Lots of silence. I wonder what we're thinking about. Probably pizza. Oh. No more being nice. I'm not sharing no more food. When were you nice? Hopefully the rest of it go well. I'll give it a possum. 247 it's watching. Possum. I appreciate it. Oh, no more sharing and no more doing nothing with people. Sounds good. I'm so tired of people eating my food. Literally, I'm trying to go downstairs to cook the pizza. And, oh, it's in someone else's hands. Oh, that's nice. Um, I think I I know it's just a question and no, I don't want to fight now, but I think I could handle her because I'd be the sober one and like quick on my feet and I could literally just move out of the way and j I, I, that would be the easiest thing. <laughs> mm. I didn't know you asked me, but okay, thanks. I remember being screamed at as a child if I didn't ask for something. Oh, I don't know how the same common courtesy doesn't get applied to me. We're finishing our drink. Oh. I guess I don't deserve to eat. Well, that's why she had to make a comment on the weight the other day when she used to call me fat and stuff. Oh, you're so skinny now. Oh. But I don't want to take on now. If I'm going to do like some kind of YouTuber boxing thing or take on somebody, I want to take on Foodie Beauty. I want to go big. Is that what you think? Literally just throw a burger at her and like, <laughs> then I could just knock her over and win. Do I have a comment on your weight? That would be kind of rude. But if she fucks with her cat on a live stream again, I'd be happy to take her on. So what makes you think it's okay to comment on your daughter's weight? Especially when you call me fat and ugly. No man will ever love me and want to marry me. Stupid, worthless, never amount to nothing. So what is it? What did I do to you? I would love to know. You saw what I did there, Matthew? You just have to comment on your weight. 
yeah, maybe it's because I haven't been eating. One, because I haven't really been feeling good for the past few months. And because people keep eating my food. Huh. <coughs> maybe. <coughs> Lovely. Oh. Great. Maybe if I got to eat all the food that was intended for me, maybe I'd have an extra 10 pounds on me. If you wanted that slice of pizza so bad, why didn't you just effing eat it? Seriously, good lord. We're seriously talking about a pizza for an hour. Like, come on. <laughs> Nightmare! Thank you so much for gifting a membership. Oh my gosh, who got it? Hold on, let me pull up the chat on my phone. Because I, I can't see it on StreamYards. <gasps> Annie, welcome to the Breezy Bunch. <laughs> Weren't you just asking me about memberships? That's so freaking cool. Lisa, Lisa. We were just talking about memberships before the live stream started. So that was really cool. Lisa, you're amazing. I love you and welcome, Annie. That was pretty damn cool. <laughs> we love you, Matthew. Woof, woof. No, no more sharing food, no more being nice. It's not reciprocated, so. I don't think people are right. Apparently, her parents ate like the last slice or something. So I'm sorry, Josh. People ate more of the food you ordered for them rather than me. I'm so sorry. And they didn't even say thank you either. It was pretty freaking like rude. Oh, good lord. But I appreciate everything you do for me, Josh. I know you're probably not even in here watching. So that's fine. Oh, I hope you saw what you did to that cat. But you know I appreciate it. I hope you did. I'd love to see him excuse it. See what he has to say. Oh, but she's a caring person and she loves me, so. Buy my tactical soap. That's what's up. I don't know. That's what I would assume he would say. <laughs> We're weird, but we love each other. It's now kicking on hours later. He just has problems, okay? I love Ozzy. <laughs> oh, here we have its gold. <clears throat> it's the audacity. I just can't get over it. For one thing, they like brought you into this world. They funded your whole life. You're still there. They're still funding you. And all this over a pizza. Like $5.99 pizza. Um, Lego, she was absolutely awful to her cat, and in my opinion, and I think anybody who watched it, she was incredibly abusive. She was antagonizing the cat, um, not looking at the signs where the cat was warning at her, like, bad, you know, get away, um, even hissed, everything else, and she kept blowing on the cat and antagonizing. So, it attacked her, and she picked it up very roughly by its neck, and, uh, it looked like she hurt the cat. It looked like it didn't feel good. It was awful. It was awful. And then she made a joke. She was going to get a belt and she was saying she was going to get the spray bottle if the cat even came upstairs. It, it was horrible. Yes, Val. Uh, go back like 20 minutes. But it's hard to watch. It's hard to watch. Yeah, and she said she was going to give it to the SPCA, and it wasn't allowed upstairs anymore. She threw something at it. Um, it was sad. Thank you, Bone.
I don't know if you saw what happened to home, but it was heartbreaking. Yeah, the cat is an animal abuser. She is. Oh my god. That's what? Not good. Oh no. Holy shit, that's not good. Now we're gonna have to hear about how she's dying for the next two years. Uh that's not good. Okay, I don't I just coughed up blood. Oh my god. And I know she said when I was at the hospital the other day, if you cough up blood, you need to go to the doctor. Great. Great. You might have stomach ulcers from the amount of alcohol that you ingest. Seriously. <coughs> your liver, I mean, it could be a number of things. Your Our bodies aren't meant to drink this much. Come on. That's nice. That's fucking blood. Hmm. Can't tell me that's not fucking blood. Oh that's my blood. gosh. That's blood. Hmm. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't have the money to keep going back to the doctors every fucking time. You think so, Eric? I can only cough blood up the day I went to the hospital. Great. Is everybody okay, by the way? I know. I don't know why she showed us that. Is everybody okay? It's been a lot. <laughs> this hour's been a lot. That's nice. That's nice. Oh, more blood. Wait, is that what is that? Is you need to stop drinking. You need to go to detox tomorrow. It could be from her mouth, it could be from her gums, but the amount she drinks, I'm telling you, I don't think we realize like how bad off she is with her alcohol abuse. Like there's serious things that I recognize when I was at like a pretty bad place in my life. Is that blood? No, I hope I, I don't want to see it again. I, I saw too, it. It's blood. Too convenient. You need to go to detox. Oh my god. Seriously. I don't hurry up. I'm peeing my pants. Let's not do that. Mm. All right, let's go to real time. We were just a couple minutes behind. Watch, she starts running water for eight hours. Matthew and Waste That Papa John's. Paper clips. I'm fine. I've seen a barrel of pickles. <laughs> it's booger. She's hawking up through her nose. Well, in all honesty, it could be a sinus infection. Like, that's another thing. But, like, why would it come up when she coughs it up, right? Uh, I don't know. Inpatient. That's what she needs, honestly. She needs. It's it's pretty bad. Her drinking is pretty bad and whatever else she's doing. Hey, Mrs. Carla. Oh, my gosh. You've missed a wild... I mean, at parts it was boring, but it's been wild. It's been wild. And I wasn't expecting to see what we saw tonight. Um, she won't go to detox in fear of losing Joshi. But the thing is, if she wants to keep Joshi, she would go to detox. Because he might put up with this for a while because he thinks he can't get anybody else to do any better. Um, except for the girl with the fishnet. But eventually, like, she's going to lose everything. And she'll lose them too. Nobody can put up with this all the time. Because she's having Uncle Buck said. That is that I've seen plenty of na I've seen plenty of nasty stuff, but her shows and nasty stuff is gross on another level. I agree. She needs the vet. <laughs> Erica parents need to do something like I know it's her responsibility to get help, but she's like under their roof. If they want their situation to get better, they'd get her help too, you know? Um, she can't go on like this. When I was drinking like she was drinking, I started having seizures. I had a stroke. Horrible things were happening to me, right? My audio? Oh, no. All right, let me see if I can fix it. What is it doing?
How is it now? Hello, hello? Lost me a bit? Lego's like, I thought it sounded fine. Like you moved away? Is this better? Great, okay. I had it kind of up because everyone was saying it was too loud before. But if this is good, I'll keep it like this. Whoa. She's back. I wonder what she's going to do now. Rage about pizza. Right. I don't know where I took it out. She possessed my mic. Stone Julia. On a side note, since I'm pretty invested in this, if Foodie goes live at like 6 a.m., I probably won't be awake to cover it, but <laughs> we'll do a recap in the later part of the morning. It is all Shane's fault. She's drinking some sort of alcohol. We still don't know because we came in late. Seriously, Eric. What is she doing? Annie, I hope we see you in the next live too. We'll definitely do a Twitter recap tomorrow as well. Eric, you did not see a tall boy. Don't you lie to me. Oh, well, there's one. Oh, where's my other two bags? I'm going to go turn on my light. Eric has me freaked out again. Now I'm looking for a tall boy. Oh. oh what she is disrespecting her parents' home. I don't even know what that was. Eric, are you being serious? Go back and check. It was between the lamp and the poor turtle. How far back? Oh, my God. What? Oh, my God. Where's my other two bags? I don't see a tall boy. Well, there's one. But I see shadows. Okay. Or I just think I do because I'm freaking oh. myself out. Oh. All right, seriously. I don't know where I put my Eric, I don't know, but I'm convincing myself I see shadows now in the background and I'm all freaked out and I'm gonna mute so I could turn on my damn light. <laughs> that is what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I wanna see the tall boy. Ignorance is bliss. I can't wait till Josh makes my wand. Before she turned the light off. It's going to be so pretty. Damn it. Okay. Before she turned. How far back is it? I don't know. We'll go back later. I didn't even turn my light on yet. I'm not mentally prepared. Oh, geez. Tom! I see dead people. Really, Lego? Oh, a tall boy can? <laughs> For a ghost boy in the background. I need to try and make something for him from that big stick that's outside. I literally thought you meant like a demon child. I didn't know you meant alcohol. <laughs> Why would I? be freaked out over a tall boy. <laughs> the 
don't forget to look under the bed. I want to go shut my closet now is what I want to do. It feels like somebody's looking back at me now. No, I'm just a dork and I have breezy moments. So you wonder if I'm okay or not because I'm not dumb in a second. <laughs> like, I did, Lisa. Yeah, unfortunately, I saw that go down. <laughs> I'm of a can. I thought it was a ghost boy. <laughs> you were confused. I was confused. I didn't see the ghost boy when I kept going back. No, Matthew, but I used to dye my hair blonde a lot, so I think it like sunk in there. Oh my gosh. You were looking for a ghost, too? <laughs> oh, when she made out with the puppet, oh my gosh, I wanted to die inside. I know you did, too, Eric. After the live stream. Someone please shut this crazy F up. Me or now? I'm not shutting up, but... <laughs> Be nice if Nal did sometimes. I hope you got therapy like I oh, okay. Well, I'm glad we had this moment tonight. We needed a good laugh. The puppet got crabs? Probably. I don't know why she's in the dark. She got yelled, or her parents told her to be quiet and then. We've kind of been in the dark since. What is she crinkling around with? The tall boy's going to pop up from behind the chair. <laughs> Listen, I haven't drank in like six years, six months. I hear tall boy, I think a ghost boy, okay? The weed tastes really good. <clears throat> That's good. She doesn't need light. It's fine. I usually don't get a lot of weed. After a tall boy with the fishnets and the fishnets and the fishnets and a fish. But usually when I do, it's grapefruit. But no, yeah, this is yeah. like. I just freak myself out in the dark. That is what I do. <laughs> this one is for Dank Fupa. No, she's not frozen. Sometimes she has moments where she doesn't move for a while. I think she goes into a trance. I'm not really sure. Thank you for the congratulations. Thank you, Blue Daisy. No joke though, like I get freaked out in the dark and I always have a pair of scissors by my bed. I don't know what I think that's truly gonna do in any situation, but it might help a little bit. <laughs> it might help. I don't think it's monster. Well, sometimes I'm convinced my house is haunted, but I'm more scared of like people. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I've just seen enough true crime and truly I don't watch the news anymore because of like hearing about scary things like break-ins and stuff like that. And then it's just, I don't know how to explain it. Like I'm single. I'm a single woman. You know what I mean? Like so these are the times like late at night where I truly only miss having a boyfriend where I'm like, if someone was here, I'd feel like so much safer. But I have a chihuahua 
who sounds very intimidating and a pair of scissors that are very sharp. So don't F with me. <laughs> don't F with me. <laughs> I can't, Ma Matthew, yeah. I shoot myself instead of yeah, somebody so else. I can't mess with that. Are we crying? Are we crying? Are we caressing a bong and crying, or what are we doing? What's in her hands? I just wish I didn't break my bracelet that one night. I just found it. Okay, I think Lisa's talking to now. Lisa said, F this stupid biatch. Why don't you help your folks with the bills, you idiot? That's a good question. Hopefully she answers that. I was so happy because I thought that thing was long gone. I don't know where it was, but I found it in the I thought she was caressing it. Like, I'm like, what are we doing? Dryer. <laughs> Dude, I have, I don't have wasp spray. I got, I got this um, pepper spray in like a cute little blinged out container. And this is, you guys want to talk about breezy moments. I have them in real life too. I literally was trying to show my daughter like, you know, how I didn't want her to just like grab it in my purse, right? Like, Cause like the, when I got it, the whole latch part, it wasn't even that strong, but I kept it around anyways. I ended up throwing it out cause I got myself in the face. Like I didn't full on spray myself, but like I got enough on it where I wasn't comfortable. This is why I have scissors. Okay. There's no chance of me spraying myself in the eye. <laughs> like Real fun fact. Like I have breezy moments all the time. I oftentimes trip over my own feet too at any given moment. The next day broke me. Dude. I can't even wear it. I learned how to get some silver added to it. I don't know anybody that does that. But I swear I'm telling you. I that bracelet, I... I swear I Where's the top? It. It's just. Eric. It was loose at one spot, like it needed to be soldered or whatever together but anyways now it's really broken same logic i love scary movies like i like to be scared but like the reality like reality is more scary to me than a scary movie if that makes sense i don't know how else to describe it <laughs> wait what did eric I say to wear it. oh gosh where's the tall boy <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just crying because I miss Josh. I could definitely survive a horror movie. I think I could because I wouldn't run upstairs and I wouldn't dilly dally and I wouldn't like peek around corners. Like if I saw some something, like I'm running as fast as I can. And now that I'm 145 pounds, my ass can go, okay? So my, I would survive. I would survive. Plus, I have scissors. You're right. I don't have the pepper spray anymore, though. Pet cemetery was scary. No, Lisa, we're not being punked, but sometimes it feels that way. I think we're feeling sorry for ourselves at this point. Dude, this is sad. This is how you want to spend your evening crying over pizza. Let's go for it a little bit. <clears throat> she said, I don't want to be here. I guess apparently prices went up after the Karoja and what.
I don't, I mean, don't get me wrong, like, the houses are cute there, but I don't think some of them are worth that price. It's just fucking ridiculous. And I'm just being honest. Moran, she wants zero parts. Get back to fucking reality. Oh, jeez. This is lovely. I wish I could get all this crap out of my face and my goddamn ear and. <clears throat> oh! Oh! Throat will get better. I'm tired of this shit. <sighs> Thank you. That was great. Oh, we just throw it across the room. Like my throat was feeling fine, but now because it's all fucking connected, it's like never ending shit circle. <sighs> Capone. <laughs> Capone, I decided that since I've been such a bitch to you and you keep coming back. That I'm gonna wipe this slate clean for now, but I still don't trust you very much. <laughs> still don't trust you very much. <clears throat> yeah, who needs a trash can, Galactic? I just hawk loogies and send them flying. She's not frozen, by the way. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. Nope, nope, nope. We're skipping past the loogies and the phlegm, if we can help it. I can't do phlegm. I just can't do it. It's disgusting. Mm. Why am I feeling like this? I don't... Hmm. She is being dramatic. Bow. I was supposed to be getting dinner. But your parents ate it? I don't think uh, penicillin can get rid of the sinus infection. I have no idea. I never heard of that. No. Maybe my sinus hurts. I can't feel it. Here I thought Foodie Beauty was vile. Good God. Help with the bills, you crazy F. Yeah. She gives Foodie a run for her money, that's for sure. Really Marin mental. I think mental emotional manipulation would be worse. <clears throat> Pinta, hi. I just subscribed to you today, by the way. Yes, I did. Super silver haze. That's the one I got. I got super silver haze, and I guess Boba. I don't even know why the fuck I got that. You think physical, Capone? Stupid name. You're a wimp. Super silver hands. I don't think that makes you a wimp. I need to put. I wish I knew how to put a shelf up on a corner. So I could put my rocks on display. I don't know, Hugh, but I don't know why we're thinking about them scraping their tongue because all you just did right now is remind me about Cyrax's tongue and oh my gosh. Mm. Yeah, I don't know why. I 
I got you way up just so I can hear her. She's all the way up. Like there's no more. There's no possible. No, there was a little bit. Tell me if that makes a difference. I hope it does. Yeah, cat. <clears throat> Not again. And some amoxicillin. What in the mental breakdown is this? This is addiction and mental illness in full force. No, it actually has two hearts on it. No, it's not two. Oh, it is. And I'm sorry, no, I don't feel bad for her after what I just saw her do to her cat. Like, I just don't, There, I don't feel sorry for animal abusers. This kind of looks like a heart. Probably, Eric. They probably had it with her. And I should have got more of the super sore haze. <clears throat> Go for it a bit. I don't know what she keeps doing. Any other cat but him? Sunny. That's mean. Any other cat but him? Sunny only seems to come up in the morning. I don't know why. I really hope she doesn't, like, continue to torture that cat. I really hope she doesn't, because she's still being really petty. Any other cat but him? I like Sunny now because he'll jump up on the bed and go right in your face and wake you, like meow and right in your face and wake you up. And I think that's cute. You know why, Val? He I did that the other day so he could like have some space. On I the think with Foodie, I heard about it. And it's just as bad hearing about it, but there's something about like physically seeing it with your own eyes. And I have no remorse for this person. I have no sympathy for this person. I have no empathy for this person. Um, she's vile and abusive and disgusting. And if she did that tonight, I would guarantee she probably does this sometimes when she gets drunk. Like that probably wasn't the first time as comfortable as she felt. She doesn't even feel bad. She's still blaming the poor cat. Did with me. No, that was so good. Yeah, imagine what she does off camera. I'm gonna link it to you. I'll do a pre recorded video of the drink combo that Josh bought for me. Do you really think you need it? Probably Hugh, and that's scary to think about. I truly feel bad for the cat. She just felt way too comfortable. Yeah, Good night, Logic. I'm just glad to feel better. Is this feeling better?
Sorry, I'm just skipping through the silence. I don't know what we're going to do when I can't. It's going to be warmer, Casper, tomorrow, too, than, to, than here. Let's see. Wish I could have had those nice days while I was there. <clears throat> yeah, but you drank instead, and raged instead, and stayed in the bathroom instead. Or the kitchen. Come here, Chachi. Come here. Come here, baby. Oh, you want to be under the heating blanket. Okay. She looks like she's sagging by the minute. Good night, Marin. That's cool, Blue Daisy. You have a good daughter. I'm about to fall asleep in my chair, so I better hurry up and take one last long hint. Grab a hit, whatever. The kitchen rage was oh, wild. Where is the grab She was like rage cleaning. Wasn't a spot left on anything. Why is my cat crying upstairs? Uh, Oliver. Did your parents put him outside because you were yelling? You better not be looking for trouble. <clears throat> she does, Hugh. The other day, in case you missed it, the other day her doorbell rang and she went off and she told everybody in her chat to go delete themselves. She was frightened someone. She also said a bunch of names I won't be repeating, but. I think that was before I went to see Josh again. Are you crazy? It does seem like that, Hugh. Well, they're probably miserable with her there. They can't be comfortable in their own home. Always walking on eggshells. You never know which now you're going to get. God forbid they eat a slice of pizza. Okay, let's skip forward. She needs to go to bed. I want to be nosy and see how many people are watching right now. 171. <clears throat> he does look done. Can you blame him though? Is that alcohol too? I'm gonna need to get some super silver, uh, super silver haze seeds. I did have some before, but anyways, whatever that all that got messed up. But. <clears throat> That's awesome, Blue Daisy. <clears throat> If this is what it was supposed to turn out like, then I would have liked it a lot. Serious question Has she become the crazy lady who just sits in the house and goes through all their stuff?
like it's almost like an episode of Hoarders. And what is the addiction show? I can't think of the damn name off the top of my head right now. Oh, yeah, I heard that vow. Hey, Christian. She is a trip. Intervention, that's it. What is she doing? Um, sitting in the dark, drunk, just going through her stuff. Earlier she was being abusive, but at this point I think she's just, I don't know, lost her damn mind. Estrem said she had an eBay store, but I doubt she keeps it together and keeps on task long enough to post something. Well, when does she post when she's always live? Yelling about something. Reddit is saying they hope the parents finally throw her out. It's the cat's only hope. Yeah. Those cats aren't safe with her there. Like I said, if she did this tonight, I feel like it's happened before. I don't know that it has, but selling what her slime, her pinch of weed, Christian. Not the broken rabbit, though. She threw that down the stairs last night. Oh, shut your mouth. Well, I think you're looking for trouble out there. <clears throat> Why don't you let him inside? She's talking to Ollie, the cat she oh, abused. I don't even want to walk down the stairs. I'm so tired. Come on, dude. With Benadryl? I don't even think that would do anything to her because she's doing harder stuff, in my opinion. I know, Ollie, run. Mm. Maybe he's hoping a neighbor helps him. Oh, I hope Josh does come to visit me. Oh, Lord. He'd get lost in all your like, stuff. For my birthday. So that would give him two months. I hope the cat's okay, too. FFG, can you pull off another rescue? <laughs> Christian, she abused her cat on camera. It was awful. Awful. She also spit up blood if you missed that. Yeah, she was antagonizing the cat and then went off. It was sad. She's a shitty person. You like the breezy logo? Thank you. You can tell something is up with Josh's new place because if he's already there or has it, she would have already been there. Hmm. People were saying that... Um. I don't know if this is true because there's people who watch King Cobra far more than I have. Like, I think I've watched his channel directly maybe five times now. Um, but I had heard that people were saying they think that he was aware the eviction was coming because they had her cleaning and I guess they went out to go look at apartments. Is that true, you guys? Oh my gosh, Blue Daisy. That's scary. The Boglum isn't that smart, Christian said. 
but maybe the people around him are. I really hope that's not more alcohol. Because we're going to have to hear about the... Oh! Holy crap. I don't know where these burps come from. Like, they just seem I don't so know, but are you aware there's a mute button? Ooh. It's fabulous. I mean, like, they don't feel like they're coming from here anymore. I don't care where your gas is coming from, okay? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know. They just don't seem. Eric, was that the tall boy you saw? Mm. I can't believe Josh he bought me so much stuff. He's. <laughs> I can't wait to get him what I'm gonna get him. What are you getting? Him a headache? More problems? Mm. Christian, too many times. At one point, we had to look at everything she hacked up. <laughs> it was quite the experience. <laughs> if you have a phlegm fetish, this was the place to be. Really have no idea what she's doing. People are racing. Which doesn't surprise me. Oh, we're eating chips. Got it. Again, the mute button. You should use it. I don't think so either, Mrs. Carlett. <laughs> I wonder how fast she'll get Cobes kicked out of his new place, too. Do you think it'll be like the first few days of her being there visiting? I mean, she'll have gone, what, a couple months without seeing him? Or a good amount of time, so there's, there'll be like a pent-up rage. Yes, Christian. Yes. Eric said, speaking of fetishes, hey, you remember the guy I brought up earlier? Holly. What if that is Ollie? Mm. Eric, I got your email and I will email you back after the stream. Kind of sounds like him. I don't think he's done with her, Nighthawk. There's been another stray cat, too. Not just Merlin. There's been, like, another stray kitty, and he's so huge. But he's like, oh, he's so cute. He has a diaper like fetish? kitties, man. And I plan on, once I get a job, I am going to fucking catch Merlin, and I'm going to get him fixed. Any so what Americans call a dresser? Is that poor kid? He definitely needs it. He needs to put some weight on. He needs to go find a home. We're kicking cats out now. They gotta go. I don't know where he went missing for over a year, but. He's just gotten like more feral over time. Mm. Do you think it's because he has a drunk owner who doesn't take care of him or pay attention to him and antagonizes him? Oh, a tall boy is a dresser in UK?
Oh, radioactive. She wasn't this boring the whole time. Trust me. But yeah, she's boring now. Oh, but I'm invested, so I'm here. And probably will be for a while. <laughs> I don't know why it bothers me the way she drinks things. I think she just bothers me in general in the moment. I'm sure she'll snap again, Christian. Oops. She hasn't raged for like, I don't know, a half hour or so. I feel like we're due for one. Radioactive. What a hint when she gets a job. Half hour, F yeah, we're due for when it's coming. I think so. I feel like it's coming. She needs to complain or be angry about something soon. It's been too calm. Bye, Annie. It's just not what it used to be. Yeah, no, no reason to add the cereal in it either. Pointless. Uh, I, mean, I don't know why I bought chocolate anyways. Chocolate. Chocolate. Something else. Mm. Don't pick on me, Eric. I'm confused. Did Eric pick on? I didn't see Eric pick on anybody. Huh. Mm -mm -mm. The soup is banging. But the pizza would have been better, right? Yeah, you're wrong. I swear, I, these come? burps are not even natural. I don't know what it is. Like, they're seriously not the same anymore. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry to hear that your burps aren't the same anymore. You must miss the good times, the old times, the way mm. things used to be. I don't really remember doing that. Oh, yeah. This thing has buttons and zipper on it, and when I washed it, it took the name of the company off the tag, but it was kind of like the original Snuggie thingy. Mm. The only thing is, I don't remember how you're supposed to button it up. That's quite the problem. So it's technically, technically not even a blanket. It's like a, like you can wear it, but uh -huh. I'm trying to find it one day. Christian, I don't know. She mumbles. But before the name washed off, I was able to look it up in like make something into it. Hmm. I'm going to try and look that up later today. Hmm. It's so cold and I just want to cuddle with Josh. Like, I, I hate being away from him. 
And this is fucking torture for me. Mm hmm. And he is a good color. I am. Does she actually? I liked when he put his leg over me. Like, I don't know. That's just very comforting to me. <sighs> I miss him. Um, she actually lives with her parents, yes. And she pees in boxes in their attic. She guzzled a ghost boy and she doesn't know why she burps like a ghost man. <laughs> they will forever be known as ghost boys now, like forever. I'm sorry, people. No kids, but she oh, wants to sorry. get pregnant. Okay. <laughs> So she doesn't have kids right now, but this is what I do know. She wants to get pregnant. And I remember after she went to visit Josh the first time, like when she came back, everybody was having her take like pregnancy tests and offering to send them to her. I'm not sorry that I love him. Because you probably don't want to hear about it, but that's what's on my mind, so... Oh, she wants to have one in nine months. Oh, I do miss him. Oh, I cannot wait to fucking get back there. I saw it that. Just, it needs to become a popular destination. I saw that she was taking prenatal vitamins. So they can have direct flights. Because I'm sorry. I just think it's kind of useless the way that these planes go all at out and about for some dumb shit when honestly just a to and fro would be good enough it wouldn't take that long to get there yeah it, it would be possible for her definitely I'd like to know without all the bullshit what a direct flight like how long that would be. Couldn't I swear it's only got to be like four hours. I swear. Because I thought it only took six to get to California. But I don't know. It was like 15 or 16 at the time. So I don't really remember. But I swear it was only like six hours to get to California. Well, there's no need for you to come back. And it seems about right, I guess. It's got to be like four hours. That's not, I swear. So let's just say it is four hours. <clears throat> I swear, a direct flight would be fine. I would fly and go see him all the time. It's like getting to Casper, not too bad. Leaving, it's not even leaving Wyoming. It's once you get to... <laughs> It's once you get to Denver, it's, hmm. Sorry, I'm here. I'm trying to plug my cell phone in. We need to make Casper, Wyoming a popular destination spot. Why? Who wants to go there? No offense if you live there. But, like, it's not the top place I'm thinking of visiting one day. Oh, shoot. I can't reach my phone plug. Hold on. Okay. Okay. I'm assuming I didn't miss anything in the two seconds I looked away. The older you get, the higher the chance of having. No, I don't. She doesn't need any children. We saw how she treats her cat. Breezy, you can see the tall boy now behind her to the left of the screen. I'm terrified, Eric. Terrified. <laughs> But it is shining in the light. I see it in all its glory. Just waiting for her to drink it. Of course, the child with fetal alcohol syndrome. Well, hopefully she doesn't get pregnant. Mm -hmm. 
Let's see how many people are watching her now. 186. No, seriously, if it's just like a four hour flight and it was a direct. She has a lot of wind chimes. <clears throat> that would be fucking awesome. I feel like I'm in a garden center somewhere. All right, let's skip ahead. Okay. Dang, she lost half. She did. So she was at, what, 240 at one point? Was it 240? And she usually has a lot of people watching, whether the chat's on or not. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't seem real like I went there, but I know I did. <laughs> Wait. It wouldn't be wise. Like it wouldn't be wise for her to get pregnant with her addiction issues going on because it gives her a higher risk pregnancy for preeclampsia. It does. Was it over three hundred at one point? Yeah. I highly doubt she would get sober. I don't think she would either, Moth. She's too selfish. I know I'll see you again. I just gotta be patient and see how I can. I'm gonna make different piles for Susan. You need to go to bed. You need water in bed. Like now. Um, cry in shame she abused her cat on her live stream. If you go back and search for it, just be aware. It's like, it's very difficult to watch. She wouldn't, Uncle Buck. She wouldn't. I wish I had some breath. <clears throat> seriously four hours on a plane and like straight there okay that's no problem I mean, as long as there's no motherfucking delays <clears throat> four hours would be no problem to go see Josh she'd quit drinking but dusting would be okay if I do get a car in her mind. Like if I get one here and then drive there. I don't like the interstate. I really don't. I don't think you should be driving anywhere. So I don't know if I could handle that kind of drive. Because it literally makes me have a panic. I can drive back roads, normal roads, but interstate, like, I don't know. For sure, Blue. For sure. Maybe I could just buy a plane ticket to fly there and have a moving truck just drive home. I still... And then I could just buy a car there. Uncle Buck, aw. And then I won't have to drive. She's literally not talking to anybody. There's no live chat. There's nobody there. Um, I'll have to figure something out. <laughs> Eric, you did? That's funny. Okay, I think we're at real time now. Nothing's changed. We're still staring at nothing. Still in the dark. Still complaining. Refusing to go to bed. 
The tall boys lit up like a Christmas tree. Oh no, she gets more and more terrifying in the dark, though, the longer you stare. She is blue. There's nobody there. <laughs> Yet she has full-on conversations and arguments with herself. She doesn't need anybody else. Yeah, it's not just alcohol, Christian. I think alcohol is like a big part of it. She drinks very heavily, but there's clearly other things going on. E-begging. And then the thing is, she e-begs, and she's the most ungrateful person. She'll complain about the flight. Sorry, I'm just thinking. How long it takes if there's too many stops. This is going to be hard. I thought it was going to be hard the first time I left Josh. <laughs> so I... Well, one, I didn't know I'd be back so soon to go see him. Like, literally, I think I was gone for, like, I was back home for, like, a month. Dude. Mm. I don't know how else to say this. He's just a guy. Get over it. <laughs> like, no offense to the men out there listening, but he's just a dude. Yeah, it was a little over a month. Which one, Christian? I think the second time's harder because I don't know when I'm going to be back there again. I want it to be permanent. I can't just keep going back and forth each time. What? I be able to save up <laughs> any money. I mean, as much as I would love to go see him every month. <sighs> Okay, I recently subscribed to Boglum Chronicles. Um, do you know which video it is or like what I should look for specifically? Breezy, right? She's acting like she's Johnny Depp or something. <laughs> I really hope you can come see me in June. Like he has moldy teeth and three strands yeah, of hair. Me, so I really hope he, he means it. Thank you, Christian. I do radioactive. I do. I think it's because of her. And he even said his landlord had been super patient with him and like all the trolling and everything. Um, they've worked with him and now suddenly he's got to go. And I think it had a, I think um, all, the police being called so much played a part. And obviously, like her screaming, raging, carrying on at all hours. Breaking the laundry room. Didn't she run two washers at the same time or something? Could it get any worse? Okay, let me check really fast. If I can find it pretty quickly. Maybe we could go there really fast. Boglum Chronicles. Could it be worse? Oh, Jessica returns to Casper deleted stream. Okay, hold on. <sighs> oh, I think we might have seen that one. Is that the one where her voice changes? Like you hear a sound and then suddenly her voice drops. It's the could it get any worse? Okay, do you guys want to go there really fast? Or do you want to wait till after she passes out or something? <laughs> I bet Mrs. Carlet. No, she was already sick. You want to go there really fast? Okay, we'll come back and check on her in a few minutes. Give me one second. Let me pull it up on my screen. I think it's like 16 minutes long, but I'm assuming we're not going to miss anything major. <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming. I could be wrong. I don't think she's going to move from the dark. Um, I 
let me see. I put it to my watch later, I think. Could it get any worse? Okay. Let me share this. Oh, crap. Or something close to that. She's huffing. I thought I heard her do a line one time, like no joke, but I don't know what she's doing. I know she's abusing whatever it is. I know she's abusing whatever it is. I can find the exact point if you want to stay on her stream. Okay. Hold on. Let me go back to her really fast and then let me know. Thank you. You're so sweet. Hold on. So do we know what the drink combo is yet? Apparently that she was drinking. Oh. Let me make it bigger. She broke the window too? Yes. She broke the toilet, flooded the laundry room, and the cops came multiple times. And she was screaming, like throwing things. You got it, Christian? Eight minutes in. Okay. Hold on. Let me pull it up. Oh, gosh. Hold on. We might have to go at six minutes in because... <laughs> Because, because, hold on, some of you guys in the chat will want to understand why I want to go earlier. Thank you, Christian, by the way. Did you see now in this dummy? <laughs> this is terrifying. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, the inside of my nose hurts. Oh, I'm not picking my nose. It just fucking hurts. Ow. Hammered? How am I hammered? I'm sick, you fucking loser. Josh doesn't want to stream. I'm asking him. He doesn't want to do it. I can't force him. I can't force him. I can't force him to do it. Are we doing anything? No, Josh is asleep. <sighs> Josh can go live if he wants to. It has nothing to do with me. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god oh, laws are made to be broken exactly it's only illegal if you get caught exactly tell that to the police hopefully you guys don't ever get arrested but i want to know i want to know we're doing an experiment tell them laws are meant to be broken oh my gosh <laughs> Oh, Jesus. I want to die. Oh, Joshy, your glasses. I'm going to take them off of you, okay? Mm -hmm. I call him Joshy all the time, and yes, he does love it. He did a little stand-up shower routine the other day, and he kept calling himself Joshy the whole time. I was like, oh, my God, <laughs> you're so fucking cute. He does not mind that I call him Joshy because I ask him. Look, I don't even know what money you people are talking about. First and foremost, and I brought it up to Josh, people are making shit up. So just shut the fuck up. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's clear as day what that is. That's clear as day. Why are there so many bottles? I don't know. Yeah, this is the exact video that was my first glimpse into the Cobra verse. Yeah, Blue, I think she is. Um, if anybody's triggered right now, like I totally understand if you leave this stream. Um, you can reach out to me. You can email me, DM me. Um, I'm always here to talk if you are struggling. Uh, 
I've been drinking rum even. That's what tells me it's she's huffing and it's not cola. Like, I remember seeing a clip. I think we may have even watched a bit. I feel like we heard it together. We watched it together. And at first I had thought it was a line. But now that I'm paying more attention and I'm listening more clearly, the way her voice changes, how long it is, like, unless that was a mile long line, I, I don't see that happening. My naive ass thought she was blowing her nose. No, yeah, it's no, nah, she's definitely not blowing her nose. Oh, it'd help if I unpaused it. Hold on. Got too many tabs. And up. it's not working. Hello. I've been drinking it. You guys literally saw me drink it a few minutes ago. I don't know Josh's password. I can't get on his computer. Thank you. Please. Oh, my gosh. What do you want me to do with this? Not play it. Be a mannequin. What, what do you want? I feel like that doll is going to turn his head and look directly at us, and then his mouth is going to just drop open. And slime is going to come out. gonna sing a song but I don't know how to play and I'm not gonna break it so I'm literally retarded I'm literally retarded yeah okay I'm retarded it's looking don't at us expect much from me it's one eye is looking at us mm -hmm. oh Josh likes fake tits Josh likes fucking fake tits. No, the fuck he doesn't. Who's jealous of a poster, you fucking retard? No, the fuck. I'm not going to wake him up. He's sleeping. Oh, Josh is disgusted by my nasty feet. Okay. I gotcha. That's fine. I know better, though. And I'm not going to tell you why, but I do know better. <laughs> you want to see me give Josh a kiss? <gasps> the fish nuts. Oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. Hi, Joshy. Hi, Joshy. Is he even awake for this? Dude. He's still awake, kind of, sort of. Uh. Halfway. <laughs> you look so handsome. Okay, I'm going to lose my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I'm going to go back to her um, live stream. <laughs> Sorry, I just, I don't know. Sorry if you're a Josh fan, but I don't need to see all that. I don't understand why his dad bought him the doll from like every scary puppet. I don't know. How does he live with that doll? It would have to sleep outside. It would. <laughs> On a side note, we joke around and have a lot of fun over here. We just like to laugh, but she's still vile. She's still disgusting. She's an animal abuser, and that didn't look okay. He looked past the F out. The blonde would do it better because she has the fishnet. I hope so too, Blue Daisy. Thank you again, Christian, for going and looking for the timestamp and everything. She's holding a gravity bong, but is worried she's coughing blood. Yeah, because coughing more with weed will help. And she's just going to smoke more and more and drink more and more. 
if you want to look more into how she's there's a lot of short videos on her that channel she yells at him and everything i'll look into them thank you christian God, you people are retarded i think you need to learn a different word <coughs> yeah she's finally smoking her pinch of weed Um, someone asked what I was smoking. Who? Um, Nobody's there. Who asked that? Oh, Hi, Chachi. Leaves a nice taste in my mouth. At least, Christian. That says dangerous. Can't go wrong. Uh, it's cold. It's cold. Seriously, though, I feel like a few times, like, I've seen her make out with him, and he's definitely not, like, awake for it. That's not okay. Ma said Josh said he hits himself, too, sometimes, but he sure as hell doesn't use SH to manipulate and blackmail people. I wish the Cavalier Hotel could have stayed the way it was. I would have loved to have seen it back then. So she's mumbling, and she's all the way up. Um, I'm not sure what else I can do. I could turn on closed captioning, maybe? It's just hard to believe. Are we going through mail? Christian said, yeah, but he has Asperger's. She's just deranged. I think it might be mail. But I really don't know. Yeah, infamous. She's still going. What? Why can't they leave the property like that? I mean, just if they, if they could have left the property like this, oh man. We'd probably get more business now. It would be one of the best hotels to stay in. Are we complaining about a hotel's like marketing? Thank you, Infamous. Oh my gosh, Christian. Mental disorders are disorders too, but she's literally doing nothing to get better. So it's hard for me to feel bad for her. Yeah. Or to feel for her. Um, it's especially hard after we saw what we saw tonight. Like addiction sucks. It's horrible. It's isolating. It's brutal. But she's also not doing a damn thing to help herself. Yeah, that's true, but it's kind of hard to sympathize when she's drinking and huffing. Yeah. True, Val. I think it's beyond addiction with her. Like, she needs intensive therapy and probably, like, I, I don't know. Like, this isn't me trying to be mean. Maybe, like... A group home for a while or something she doesn't know how to adult or be a normal functioning human
All right, let's go for it a little bit. But like even rehab would help a lot because you have to take classes during rehab. Like you're not just there on vacation, you know? She really messed up. There was a stream too where she was cleaning his kitchen and she was going on about how she was told. She yes, Christian, we saw that. We saw that. You know what's odd though? And like, this isn't like I don't take it to heart, but you could tell her feeling ugly really affects her because a lot of times when she's drinking and drugging, she starts like getting so upset and she talks about how her friend's parent called her ugly and said she was too ugly to even do a fashion show. But when she gets mad at people, she'll call them ugly. Like she's called me ugly. I don't even know how many times now. And like, I don't take it to heart, but it's odd that she feels a certain way. So she wants to tell everybody else they're ugly. She threatened him. With, yeah, she did threaten him with an $8 machete. And then she lied and said she was t saying that about Jessica Messica when Jessica Messica wasn't even part of the topic. She was mad at Josh. I don't know, Val, because my addiction was alcohol and whatever I could put up my nose. So I didn't huff or do any of that. But I would assume anything that you regularly put into your body, you can have some sort of withdrawal from. You're so sweet, infamous. Thank you. Well, I'm glad we're watching the top of her hat. I mean, this is great. Who needs Bravo? Ow. Oh, shit. Please don't come back. Ow, it hurts. You got so many stickers and... I can't. Yeah, Christian, I would think so. But I do know alcohol withdrawal is deadly. It's one of the deadliest things that you could like detox from. Um, and even if she's not, sorry, even if she's not um, trying to detox or whatever, like I'm telling you at the point where I started having seizures and even the time I had a stroke, um, I was literally on my way like to the liquor store and coming back and I didn't get home fast enough, but I wasn't actively trying to detox. It was, I drank so heavily and I was so used to drinking so much, like every half hour. So every 30 minutes I was drinking a Bud Light or a 211 or these stupid Bud Lurita things. I don't know. I always say their name wrong, but, um, if you don't get that alcohol into your system enough to maintain, you can have seizures. So it's alcohol is really dangerous to F around with. Like I highly suggest nobody take up the habit. Maybe I'll save it for when I get a car. <clears throat> you know, let me put it on there. I want to see how many people are watching. 148. God, why is it so windy outside? I'm so over this. Smart Panda. Very smart. Alcohol is like cunning and baffling, and you don't know you have a problem until it's too late. It's wild. The next time I see Josh, I want to go to the mountain, and I just can't drive up there. I would probably have a heart attack. I don't mind if someone else drives, but I won't be able to do it. Yes, Penny, they are. I can drive just fine, people. 
just certain things freak me out, and if I know that, then I'll rather avoid it. So. But I do want to go up there. It does look so freaking beautiful. Sorry, I was stuck on mute. Watching these people is enough to make me want to quit messing with it, period. It's smart. Alcohol isn't amazing for your body, you know? It's because she's so drunk and she's been smoking, Penny. Good, Blue Daisy. That's amazing. I still kind of think we're going to get a mini rage or a tantrum, though, before... Well, maybe not. Is she passing out or looking down? Nobody talk. Damn it. Oh, why is my chest hurting? Oh, okay. Uh, Lord of mercy. What? I don't know what she said. And I'm not sure why I'm whispering. Hold on. I somehow got out of our chat. <clears throat> you spoke too soon, Mess Galactic. So did I. I think she's in the end game too. I know her poor parents. I think she did pass out for like a second. <laughs> Which I don't know how to break it to her. But with alcohol addiction, you go from it making you pass out to it doesn't even help you sleep at all. And then you're up for days just drinking. It's not a great time. And then you drive yourself crazy. Like this. Josh does the same thing. Josh does it too? This is all bad. They call it the duster stare? See, I don't watch a whole lot of him. His food concoctions gross me out. And I watch a lot of foodie. I don't need to stay grossed out all the time. Yeah, Eric. Well, that duster makes you pass out, too. Like, I'm not encouraging anybody to, like, go search this stuff. But there's, like, channels where they cover... Um, like addiction problems in different cities and I forget where but like it's a huge problem and there's people like filming people that do it and then they'll literally start walking and pass out like full-on fall asleep in the middle of walking or you'll see people standing that eventually just fall to the ground it's it's scary it's scary he does it a lot yeah and the scary part is you could see it when it, like, hits the brain. Like, their voice changes, and then they're just a zombie and pass out. Or even worse, like, it's really dangerous. Like, you hear people dying all the time from it. Like, please don't ever try it. Please listen to me. Please. <laughs> I know you guys won't, but if anybody's listening out there and, like, their friends are doing it or they think it's cool, like, you may never wake up. It's not worth it. <clears throat> I didn't know he does it too, though. I'm sad for him. I'm not sad for her. Sorry. I don't think she should do Duster. I wish she wouldn't do it. But after what I saw tonight, I, I don't see myself feeling bad for her anytime soon. 
All right, let's skip ahead a little bit. <laughs> Vow. <laughs> King Cobra's better than your mama, though. Can we, t can we keep King Cobra and dump your mama? Thank you, Blue, for sharing that. Jeez. Girl, you got to go to bed. And have orange juice next to you. I'd love to know what she sees Ooh. when she's staring <laughs> off. Ow. Mm, you shouldn't be hurting at all. Hmm. All right, this is going to be my last grab. Truly, you guys, it's she's so low. The only way I can hear her is I have headphones on. It's literally the only way. But she's. it seems like she's nodding off. It's hard to tell because she's in the dark. Um, mm -hmm. Surprising people will sit here and watch me sit. In the dark and cry about missing time. Oh, I know, Christian. I just feel bad. Is that noise? Oh, here we go again. I don't know. You could turn on a light. Okay. I don't know what that was, but that noise definitely came off of this table. I don't know what that was, but that's the third scary thing to happen in my room tonight. Blue, you know what? It's so smart because addiction, there's a huge problem. There's a huge addiction problem right now. And your daughter carrying that could save somebody that she might just be walking by on the street or if she's at a restaurant, um, she could save a life. That's really smart. Mm -hmm. okay. I still got to go look and see what fell earlier. Yeah, the... The ghost boy is still there. Something fell. He hasn't moved. What time is it for her? I hope the ghosts do not follow me home from the cemetery. Oh, don't do this. Um, a good one, sure, but not one that's going to scare me. So the ghost we're talking about, if you missed it, Val, <laughs> um, Eric told me to go back because there was a tall boy in the background, and I had already been freaking myself out because I always think I see something move in her background. <laughs> And so I go back in the stream and I'm searching for like a ghost boy in the background. And he's like, it's right after she turned out the light. So we're going back and he's talking about a can of beer, but I'm thinking he's talking about a damn ghost. <laughs> yeah, that happened. All right. So I don't know what that was. Oh, it's 4 a.m.? Yeah, whatever fell, uh, I don't know. I get it, Infamous. Have a good night or morning or whatever it is. Have a good one. <laughs> oh, wait, what did we miss?
What is she holding? Is that, what is that? Is that the bong? They're coming for you now. Oh, I thought I heard sirens. It looks like a bottle. Of what? Hot sauce? Ghost beer is a good marketing name. <laughs> it is. I guess it's time to do another news next. Mm. Oh my gosh. I think these are every six. I guess it's time to take another Mucinex. Every six hours a day. I can't even keep track of all these. Uh. Go take your Mucinex and your Gas X and whatever else. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm. Oh, okay. Thank you. I am a simple gal. I have a vape. <laughs> and currently an edible, but it's in my backpack. <laughs> she really needs to be in a mental hospital. I agree. This isn't normal behavior. None of it. I think she needs sleep and to be detoxed. She probably needs fluids. And I mean, I do think, I, I mean, I don't think the house is haunted all the time, but I have seen a shadow. It was not even a whole figure, it's just the, the head. Great. You have a floating head floating around there. You know, there's something hanging on the wall coming up the stairs, but the little space. Well, there's not something, but there was a shadow, and the person had curly hair. It had curly hair. So I, like, I think they like passed through and stuff. But... So a head just floated by, and it happened to have curly hair. Did it say anything? Like, where's my body? Mm -hmm. oh, weird stuff. But at least I have great hair. She seems like she smokes. Maybe. It would explain a lot. Casper the friendly ghost beer. I love it. Right. He used to be her friend. Uh, I would sleep on her floor. I would hear stuff from like so called like planes only because they would, after everything they said, they would be like, you know, Roger that, whatever. What the hell? And then one night we were both downstairs and her brother was not home. He was over at a friend's house, and that was definitely for sure. He was not there. And we were both downstairs, and the stereo in his room uh, started blasting on full blast. And I think she got yelled at for it, but we were both downstairs, and he wasn't home. I don't remember anything else, but there were, every time I slept on her floor, there was like always like some... Like, I, I could hear, like, the plane interference or whatever the hell. I don't know. Then why didn't you move to the bed and start sleeping on the bed if it only happened when you were on the floor? Mm. Maybe galactic. <laughs> and stuff fell over at Josh's. I can't remember what Josh said, but as soon as he said something... <laughs> Um, as soon as you said something like all this stuff on the, you know, where the TV is like fell over. Dude, you're possessed. Oh. 
It's crazy. It reminds me of, I don't know if you guys know who the eight passengers people are and everything that went down and how Ruby and Jody, they both got arrested for child abuse. Anyways, I was listening to police tapes and like the interrogations and stuff like that. And Ruby's husband said that there was a time she went to Jody's house and like there was things that happened that he couldn't explain. He said that he would hear people crawling up the walls, um, things flying across the room, like cabinets closing. And if you follow the case or you knew what happened, like Jody's evil, like beyond a monster, like evil. So I believe that there was some sort of, I don't know, depending on what you believe, like I believe she was either possessed or there was something demonic going on there. And then so it's wild to me that now like she thinks everything's haunted and she sees ghosts and all this stuff. I think she are possessed. I think that's what it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she is a demon, Val. Exactly, Blue. That whole case is heartbreaking because those were good kids. Good kids. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh. I need to get the. I seriously, I'm not trying to copy Josh's bed, but I seriously need his bed. Oh, gosh. I hope they still make it because that's what I need. I saw the journal. I felt sick when I saw what she admitted to. And then it's crazy because there was a time um, where I guess Jody had to step in on Ruby's punishments because she said Ruby was taking it too far, doing too much. And knowing what you know, like jo like I'm telling you, Jody's been destroying families for years. She's been abusive for years to children. So it's like very telling that uh, Jody had to step in and stop whatever Ruby was doing. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep good tonight. Mm. Good night, Panda. Not as good as I could. But I, I don't know why I never just bought re bought another queen mattress to get one. Instead of this stupid mm, rinky dink. Same crying. The Josh's mattress mattress is <clears throat> right christian it's horrible hold on i'm gonna run and grab an applesauce i'll be right back but i would like to get the same mattress as him one because it's perfect for me and you know if he likes his mattress i would like him to feel comfortable over here when he comes to visit me. Ooh, I'm getting dizzy. Oh, I'm so freaking tired. I don't even know why I'm about to take this breath in here. But I can probably do my nose. Mm. Man, when I put his sheets back on, I should have looked to see what kind of uh, mattress it was, but I didn't. Oh, so he's gonna have to look that up for me. So I can help. Come on, I need to see. Mm. Blue, I saw that too. My applesauce froze. Maybe if I hold it up to the heating blanket, I could defrost it faster. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. Oh my goodness. You okay over there? I'm like way past my bed time. Mm. I'm just lonely. No, Eric, I saw those were frozen, so I don't know why I thought that my applesauce wouldn't be, but I think the mini fridge, I think my daughter changed the setting because it's like free, like the fridge part is freezing. 
Like everything's frozen. <laughs> I wish my fruit cup was defrosted though. It is an obstacle. Chug it. It's apple, strawberry, and spinach. Let's see if it's good frozen. Not necessarily. I like I know I had a vision of some kind of free time. I don't know what it was. It's just like, okay, yeah, you had a dream. I wish I could remember something. I wish I could have a dream about Josh tonight. I feel like it's more spinachy frozen, but I'm kind of liking it. Um, her parents are downstairs. I don't know if her brother's there. I heard her brother lives there too. She's going to town. people I'm going to bed, going to bed. <coughs> <coughs> please don't I can't don't show us again nope me. I will not shut you out for protective reasons but I do appreciate it everyone else watching me Appreciate it. Thanks. I'm sorry for crying, but you know. Stella! I can't cry for too long because if that's what I really want, then that's what I'm going to work on getting. And I can't be sad for too long. So. Yep. Yeah, I, I do miss. I do miss it. Oh my gosh. This is not healthy. At all. Do you think he's sitting around crying over you, seriously? Uh, it's going to be hard because I feel not know how long it's going to be without me seeing him this time. And I just saw a sign at Goodwill that said they, <coughs> they're still closed, but you can donate stuff. So that's good. So I'll do that. Great. And I'm just going to yeah, start going through stuff. And make my load lighter. Make your load lighter. That's what he said. Still resell stuff. But just little dumb crap I don't need. Oh, you haven't, Eric? <laughs> Good job after I get over this freaking sickness. <coughs> no. Goodbye. I'm sorry if anybody really wanted to see what she hacked up, but um, I just couldn't do it. <laughs> I just can't. Oh, and I got another donation too. I'm not going to say your name either. I'm sorry, Eric. 
I'll be sure to zoom in for you next time. <coughs> Fuck my chest hurts again. God. No, I don't think comments are back on. Or the chat's back up. I think she's just talking to herself. I gotta go take my stupid music mix. She only has 12 people watching right now. 12. All right, no. I'll look you up in the morning. Who is she talking to? No. Well, Stella, she coughed up blood earlier. What did I eat for me to get? Oh, I had soup. Hmm. I don't think soup would cause one <laughs> Oh, yeah, she showed us some other things. Oh. What Christian said, oh, Stella. Okay. I'm going to sleep with all my stones under my pillow tonight. You're going to sleep with all that phlegm tissues, too? Oh, I forgot. We just throw them. With my Josh pillow next to me. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I have to get it out. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I can't help it. Oh, geez. Her eyes. <laughs> Hold on. I want to see if, oh shoot, we, oh, where did I go? Okay, hold on. Damn it. Well, I had a plan. <laughs> My phone keeps saying it's not updated and it never tells me. I can't get her back. Oh, wait. All right. Then I tell the other person, I'll look you up. Um, I'll look you up in the morning when I, like, when I wake up. Yeah, she's done. The weed hit. Whatever else. And she's fading fast. Mm -hmm. Things for hanging out with me, you know, I have to chill. Unfortunately, I just saw that her nose is running, or I don't know. I saw something streaming down. Or is she crying still? Mm. Oh, I think it's tears. Good night, Galactic. I'm going to go too. Yeah, anyways. Let's just see how it ends and then we can all go to bed. Take my medicine and go to pass. Hopefully, I'll feel better in the morning because you should hope you wake up in the morning. I'm not trying to be dark, but I'm ready to feel better. I'm gonna sleep with all of these under my pillow. <laughs> I don't care what anyone else says or thinks. Next to my Josh pillow. Oh, I can't have the real thing right now. So. I think it's going to end any minute, you guys. So, yeah, we seriously need to make Casper a destination. I mean, I don't know how, but he needs to come to it. All right, goodbye now. Go to bed. It's freaking beautiful there. Yeah, the cemetery looked great. That's all I saw. I really can't complain about that. Looked Still like a real cool. lively place. Probably, Eric.
There we go. I'm sure she'll delete this, by the way. She probably passed out before she could. Since my kids aren't here either. Well, you threw something at one of them. I need to go to bed. Sounds like a great idea. Thanks for having me. Oops. Yeah, I'll make a little short dream combo video tomorrow. I can't wait. Sponsored by Josh. Because he's he's so freaking adorable. Will you still have alcohol left? Serious question. Christian, you missed that? I don't, the, the clip has to be out there somewhere. Yeah, she was drinking really heavily in a bath one night and um, she had been raging. It was a whole thing, but she went face down into the tub multiple times for like minutes at a time. And it was kind of scary and everybody had to get a hold of Josh and he was trying to call through. Um, there was a few times during that stream, we were honestly wondering, like, are we watching somebody drown? It was terrifying. Like, the way she drinks and what she does and the decisions she makes are scary. You have the clip? Okay, Satan has it on his channel. I don't know if Josh is watching this late. Well, he's two hours behind, so it's not as late for him. But... I love you, Josh, and sweet dreams. Goodbye to everyone. Stupid jerky. And goodbye, everyone else. So, until later, when I post my drunk combo. <laughs> Satan, do you have it as a short or an actual video? I can't remember. Have a good day or night, whatever. Goodbye, everyone. All right, good night. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> How are you guys? <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I know this was a long stream and oftentimes um, uncomfortable, but at least we got through it together. Yeah, it's terrible, Christian. If you look up Satan's channel, hold on. It's The at is Satan2795, and he has lots of short clips of Nalep. Um, and he has the fishnet one. If you haven't seen that, that one was hilarious. But uh, he has the one where she was in the bath. You think it's a short? Hold on. I'm scrolling really fast to see. Hmm. I don't know which video it is, though. Shoot. Okay, we'll search Satan at, <laughs> at Satan, and it's 2795. It's 2795. It is insane. It is. All right, you guys, I'm going to go to bed, or at least I'm going to attempt to. But I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Thank you to the mods. Thank you to the Breezy Bunch members. And welcome to all the new faces in the chat. It was really good to hang out with you. And you guys, so it's 1.28 a.m. for me. I'm probably going to do a late morning stream. If we miss anything from Foodie, I'm definitely not going to be like bright-eyed and bushy-tailed at 8 a.m. ready to cover her. But we'll do a late morning stream, and then in the evening, we'll come back and do a now recap or something like that. Anyways, I am going to bed. I hope you guys do too. Have a great day, a great evening, wherever you are, and I will see you so soon. Bye, you guys. Bye.